Thank you for visiting Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about can atrial fibrillation make you pass out? And the answer to that is yes. I've seen three different ways in which atrial fibrillation can make a patient pass out. First, one way that it can make you pass out is this your AFib is going too fast. Um, your heart rate can be going 170, 180, and can cause poor circulation to your brain and cause you to pass out. Now typically, this is actually the least common way that I have seen atrial fibrillation make you pass out. Although people feel terrible when their heart is going extremely fast, 170, 180, close to 200, they feel terrible, short of breath, dizzy, uh, chest pain, but they typically don't frequently pass out. Uh, most of the time that I've seen somebody actually pass out purely because the heart is going too fast are typically older patients who have had existing other heart conditions like maybe you have a bad heart valve or you've had blockages in the arteries of your neck called carotid artery disease and those are, in those type of patients it is possible that you could pass out just purely because the AFib is going too fast. Now more commonly is actually a reason why people pass out from atrial fibrillation because their heart rate is going too slow. Now you may say, well, atrial fibrillation makes your heart go fast. How can, you make, how can it also go too slow? Well, there's a couple of ways in which it can go slow, which is the second reason is that the ventricle could pause. Now in atrial fibrillation, the upper chambers of your heart or the atria are going very fast. We're going over 300 to 600 beats per minute, but the pulse comes from the ventricle. And the ventricle sometimes can slow down or even pause sometimes even despite the fact that you're in atrial fibrillation. I tell my patients it's like your heart needs to just catch its breath for a second there from being constantly sent signals from the atrial fibrillation. So the heart rate may pause, your pulse may pause for anywhere from three to five seconds and that can certainly make people get dizzy, lightheaded, or even pass out. Now the third way in which it, you can pass out is actually not because of atrial fibrillation, but because the atrial fibrillation stops. Uh, this is what's called a conversion pause. Basically, you're in eight, you have episodes of AFib that come and go. And, but when the AFib actually stops, your natural heartbeat takes several seconds to, to start kicking in. It's like your natural heartbeat is just also just so tired from being in atrial fibrillation, it takes several seconds for it to start kicking in again and start having a natural heartbeat, which can lead to pauses that can last three, four, five longer uh, seconds in order to, before the natural heartbeat starts kicking, kicking in again. And that is actually probably the most common reason that I have seen people passing out from atrial fibrillation, is these actual pauses that happen when the AFib stops and your natural heartbeat is just too slow to kick back in again. So what can you do for these times that you pass out because your heart rate is too slow? Well, the first step, adjusting medications is, is an option. Uh, and it's typically one of the first steps that I, that I do. Uh, however, you know, I've emphasized before that whether it's medications or ablation procedures, nothing is a 100% cure for atrial fibrillation. And passing out is so serious that if you, for my patients, if you pass out and it's Clearly, you see that there's some documentation of slow heart, very slow heart rates or pauses. Uh, I typically end up recommending a pacemaker. A pacemaker will stop these very slow heart rate episodes and will prevent the passing out. There are a few exceptions where I may be willing to try medications or even ablation procedures to see if that can help prevent the passing out. But like I said, in general, passing out is just such a serious thing that can happen to somebody that, that if it's clearly documented to slow heart rates, I usually recommend a pacemaker. So if you've had a history of passing out in the past, please discuss with your doctor what may be uh, the reasons why you passed out, uh, especially if you have a history of atrial fibrillation, and what may be your best treatment options. Thank you for visiting this video segment of Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.